Okay guys, I'm back with another long overdue video, as always. My life just gets really busy, not even that it's really busy, but I've just been applying for jobs like throughout the day, and then I'll go to the gym, and then by the time I'm back from the gym, like I just need to make dinner quickly for everyone, so I don't have time to film this like whole video. But I thought I'd do that today, because I keep posting all these like really nice recipes that I'm filming, not filming, making, um, and everyone's like filming these videos. So today I'm going to be making zucchini enchiladas, which are courgettes, like the American name, but like that's basically just what they're called. So instead of using wraps, it's courgette slices, which is like keto. Um, I'm not looking at the camera, I've just realised. Okay, well basically they're, yeah, so it's keto and it's just basically what I've been trying to eat as for the past few months, which has really personally helped me lose the weight quicker I think um, than if I didn't try this. It's basically just low carb, no carb, which obviously there's some days where I don't and I do eat carbs like a normal person. But yeah, overall I try and stick to this, which has been really helpful for me. So I'm gonna kind of start segmenting, show you some easy keto friendly um, recipes that you can like substitute into your weeks. Just like, even like doing it a little bit is better than nothing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you like it. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in the next part of the video. So for the homemade enchilada sauce, you need um, like three tablespoons of flour. I'm using like wholemeal flour, chili powder, vegetable broth or stock to make it. Um, apple cider vinegar, garlic granules, oregano, a bit of cinnamon, salt, freshly ground pepper, and tomato puree, oh, and cumin, like cumin powder. So for the enchilada sauce, I'm just letting about six teaspoons of olive oil heat up in this saucepan, and I'm gonna add the flour mixture that I'll leave all the ingredients down below, the vegetable broth, and the tomato paste. So just mixed in the tomato paste and flour mixture. And then in about a minute, I'm gonna add in the vegetable broth. Now I've added in the vegetable broth, so you just stir it until the blue lumps are removed. Which will probably take a few minutes. And then you like reduce the heat and let it simmer for a while. And then Whilst that simmers, we just have the rice cooking for the Mexican rice. And for the zucchini like slices, we just use this, I think it's a cheese slicer, to just basically make long strips of these. So now I need to just put this first. But yeah, so just basically grill them on, we're gonna grill them on like an oven and bake sheet. But you can also do it like on a pan. So yeah, I'm just getting the wok ready for the chicken that I'm about to do. The rice is ready to be made into the black bean rice and the enchilada sauce is still simmering. So I just added some oil, onions, so take that with some garlic and and a tiny bit of chili powder and now I'm going to add the two chicken in there to I'm going to add some of <laughs> so right now for the rice, I just sauteed some onions, shallots, uh, garlic and cumin powder. So I'm just going to let this simmer for a little bit. Oh, yeah. The, actually the beans, the black beans in a sec, and then the rice, and the rice like the bean rub thing. 
to play up the enchiladas when I plate it up but get them ready to go in the oven and I'm just going to place some enchilada sauce in the dish so now I'm going to just spoon the basically what they should be like and drizzle some enchilada sauce over Done. This is the Mexican black bean rice. Um, the enchiladas are in the oven and they'll be done in about 20 minutes. So, yeah, once everything's plated up, I'll show you what it looks like. And it tastes really good from what I've picked up so far. Um, but, yeah. some sour cream in this little like squirter thing that matches me which is cute um, so I'm just gonna like drizzle it over so this is the end product the black bean and sweet corn Mexican rice and the zucchini enchiladas so I will let you know how they turn out. 